welcome to The One Show with Chris Hollins. And Louise Minchin, and there is no debate about it. Yes, we are officially an election-free zone. And... <laughs> They're happy about that. Joining us tonight is the man who penned this. I started singing, my, my, Miss American Pride. Oh, my Chevy through the levee, but the levee was dry. Them two little old boys are drinking whiskey and rye, saying this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. It is, of course, John McClain. Yeah. John, welcome to The One Show. Good-looking boy. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that handsome devil? Was it you? <laughs> Can you remember those days? I do. And do you remember... I mean, do you, you've, you've come back into the UK. When was the last time you were here? Uh, in 07. And do you like coming back here? Yeah, do I do. feel a, a bond with the British people? I do. I feel that, yes. It's gone way back to 1970, 71. I first played uh, the uh, Albert Hall, I think, in 1972, which is... Um, a long time ago. Years ago, and many times after that, and then Festival Hall, many times after that, and so this will be the second time uh, for uh, Albert Hall, and the last time was absolutely wonderful. I mean, the audience was just so warm. It will well, be again, I'm sure. Don, we'll talk about the tour and your sure. album, Addicted to Black, a little bit later on. And also, we have got a special one-show version of American Pie featuring Adrian and Christine. Who? And other familiar faces coming up, so later, stay tuned for that. Yep. And it's caused really serious um, disruption for lots of people. Um, how long is it going to go on for? Because jo Don's going on tour, you know, he needs Why to know what's going go on. Away? Yeah, this is one of the problems we have with volcanoes. <laughs> we can kind of monitor them and predict uh -huh. when they're going to start erupting, mm. but how long they exactly go on for, we don't know. This particular volcano can erupt for a short period of time, or it can be months, weeks, even, you know, even years. Because you would have thought with all the technology we do have in this world that we'd be able to predict when they'd go off. We could have given people a warning. Well, I indeed, that's the case. And for volcanoes that we see on Iceland and in North America and so on, they're very well monitored. So actually, a couple of days prior to an eruption, you get triggers in the ground that tell you something's going on. I don't think anybody on. ever thought there were volcanoes in Iceland. The whole island's made funny? up of volcanoes. Mm -hmm. It's well. actually, uh, yeah. For, 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 for a land that's termed ice, it's actually very, very hot and, and, and molten rock oh. everywhere. OK. Avalanches. <laughs> avalanches, yes. What do you yes. say about avalanches? <laughs> you don't want to be in one, that's for sure. You definitely don't. Um, <laughs> now, you're, you're here because you've got your new album out. It's called yes. Addicted to Love. Yes. Tell us a, bit, a little bit about Black. it. Um, Thank you for the Well, great. it's an <laughs> album that uh, really I, I did because I was writing some songs. I hadn't planned to make another record. But uh, a couple of guys who work with me came up with some tracks. Yeah. And I liked them, and so we did them. Then I wrote a few more songs. I did some more tracks. I brought them up to the house, and we did vocals. And before, before you know, we had an album. And why Addicted to Black? Why the title? I don't know. It's just how it turned <laughs> out. The songs were kind of dark. And uh, no matter uh, what, I sort of drift over to that side, I guess. And so that's why I ended up calling it. Uh, there's a picture on the back there that uh, you were looking at before. Which uh, of you were about 18 or something? I was about 18, and I had decided to be a singer. Well, I decided many years before that, but I, uh, I, it brings back a lot of memories seeing that because I had quit school and uh, it didn't work out. So I had to go back and I went back to college. I went to night school. I got a degree, and then I remember getting a degree that I knew I would never use, which was an odd feeling. And I went back into music in 1968. Now, I also read that this could be, much to many people's shock and horror in the office, that it could be your last album. Have you become despondent with music? Um, I just don't think there's a music business anymore, and that's perhaps the reason why I said it was going to be my last record, because uh, I want people to be aware of the fact that there is no music business. And for people like me, it's like asking a movie actor to make a, a movie when there are no studios. and. Uh, they use act actors that are part animated, and mm. uh, it's like the music business that I knew, uh, you know, going into studios and making records with a bunch of guys and cracking jokes and coming up with head arrangements and, and getting excited over a track and stuff, that's over. Yeah. And yeah. Well, we'd hate to think that it's over for you, because you are, remember, some classics, real classics. Here you are performing in London in 1982. Starry, starry night. Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Crying over you Crying over you In 
And I love you so People ask me how And I have to ask you, and I know you've been asked a million questions over the years, yes. and they're all the same questions about American Pie. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing about it, though, we've talked to loads of people about yeah, it. Everybody, a no, I <laughs> no. Wrote, everybody <laughs> loves to sing that song. Yeah. When you wrote it, did you have any idea it would be like that? No, but uh, I was once sitting, you know, in a place like this, and over there there was a, a like a bar, and a guy was singing American Pie, the worst I ever heard. Was it? <laughs> and people loved it. Yeah. So I realize that no matter what I do, I can't really wreck that song. Well, you say that. <laughs> you say that no one can really wreck that song because I'm taking a rather dramatic pause here mm. because we've had Madonna's version, a mm. wonderful version. Mm. The One Show have come up with their own 2010 version, <laughs> which I think could be wrecked. Here we go. I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> A long, long time ago I can still remember How that music used to make me <laughs> smile And I knew that if I had the chance I could make those people dance And maybe they'd be happy for a while oh, yeah. So bye-bye, Miss American Pie <laughs> Drove my Chevy to the levee But the levee was dry Them the good old boys are drinking whiskey and rice Singing, this will be the day that I die This It'll be the day that I die. I don't Now, Don, just in case you didn't know, we had Meatloaf there, we had a Wimbledon people? champion, and we had a Knight of the Realm. Did we do it justice? I think you did a great job. I'm surprised. Oh, <laughs> that is praise indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, Don's new album is out on Monday. He's on tour around the UK as well in May. Lucy, what should we all be doing to save money? You did really well until then, though, because you were driving at a slower speed. So Thank you, you still kind of won. It was a pyrrhic victory. <laughs> so you were doing um, between 50 and 60 miles per hour. It's so much more efficient. As soon as you go over 70, miles an hour then you are just guzzling gas basically it goes up by 25 percent uh, the other things that you need to do reduce drag so things like uh, the, the stuff that you had on top of your Apes. car yes etc <laughs> not good um, some people say you should wear soft sold shoes so you've got real pedal sensitivity this is for the really keen hyper milers so you can actually stop accelerating so harshly or braking so harshly that uses loads of full fuel and there are some sort of historical anomalies like waiting for the engine to warm up you don't need to okay. do that it's a modern okay. car no need um, it was interesting watching you watch that that film and mm. what kind of car do you like to drive fast fuel inefficient cars bad <laughs> With big <gasps> engines, V8s. Lovely, but I have to drive a hybrid. My wife a Prius, yes. Oh, she, so she does the right. She puts me... To she Lovely to meet you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yes, thank you both of you, Don. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing you today. Well, thank good you. Good luck with the tour. Thank you. And with the album Addicted to Black, it's out on Monday. And good luck with it.